Broadway. Broadway. I'm throwing a little plug to um, this book that I got sent by Peter Felicia, who is a great theater writer that I've known for a very long time. And he has this book coming out called The Great Parade, all about the 1963-1964 Broadway season. This book is uh, it's been St. Martin's Press, very fancy publisher. So, uh, but I love that photo, isn't that great? I mean, look at the shows, come on. It's so good. I'll read it once I'm done with this Broadway season. Then I'll dig into that Broadway season, which I'm sure was great. Um, hi everybody, we are live at five. We need like a theme song, maybe, maybe not. Um, uh, yeah, I love the cover art too. Oh, you have his other book, Strippers, Showgirls, and Sharks. Yep, yep, okay, good. I'm glad everyone's here. Hi everybody. Um, so, hi Beth Stevens. Hello. How you doing? Where and are I'm you? I'm transcribing. There you are. There's nothing worse than listening to your own voice. What are, you, what are you transcribing? I'm transcribing my interview with Lisa Damore, who wrote Airline Highway. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. You saw it. I really liked That's it. That's my last show I to see. I really sit. liked it. And Joe Mantello directed it almost like a musical. Joe Mantello. Wicked Joe Mantello. Wow, cool. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm excited. It. I'm seeing it tomorrow. It's really I cool. I can't wait. It's a cool show, and she's a cool lady. Should I, should I, I should bring someone cool. Yeah, good luck. Who are you bringing? I don't know. I'm not available. <laughs> I don't know. You're... And uh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, wait. I, I meant to mention that. They're already saying it. So, uh, yes. Yay, Younger. 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 Yeah, I love it's Younger. It's going to be back. Younger's back. I think that I'm taking part responsibility. Okay, you do that. Um, because I was, I feel like I was very over the top with my love of it on show people. But we love everything Sutton does. It's like, you know. Sutton's but I like really this one a lot, a lot, a lot. Good. And I love that she's slowly getting through Sex and the City because she didn't get it back in the day. But now I love it. And now she's Sutton a, is Sutton she's is a on. Charlotte, right? A Carrie Charlotte. Yeah, she's a, yeah. Is that what I said? Har I Charlotte, so. Harlot? Harlot? What? I, no, not a Harlot. Harlot. Stop what? it! Stop that! I didn't say that. Um. So, uh, so, where's Sutton? She's not here. I'm assuming she's somewhere. I'm, she's probably watching this. Yeah, hi, hi, Sutton. Sutton. <laughs> um. So yeah. Anyway. Oh, so before we, you and I went on Periscope very briefly earlier. Because yeah, we, you got to see my notebook and we nothing. had to see us. We had somebody here, but we couldn't. Um, we didn't want to show her because um, I didn't warn ready. her that she was going to be broadcast live. So anyway, but uh, yeah, we're going to do another one of these Periscope things on opening night. Who is it with? Kate Rinders. That's how you say it, people. Rinders rhymes with grinders. Right. Learn it. Right. You know it. Not with reindeer. Of something rotten. Not with grain green do grinder. Right. Grind Rinders. grinder. Kate, Kate Rinders. Rinders. Um, she, she is hilarious, is, by the way. Kate, there uh, she Kristen is. Chenoweth is pointing hey, at her. Hey, look, right it's now. a Glinda. It's a Glinda pointing at a Glinda. Former Glinda. There she is. There she is. So she's very super excited because she's going to, uh, she loves a camera and a live broadcast. She, she's ready for shenanigans. She can't be using Yeah, so I'm pretty sure, considering how funny she is and how great that cast is, that this is going to be something to be looking out for tomorrow. She's this super is tomorrow. friends with Jerry Vicky. Yeah, who a lot of people might not man. know, mm -hmm. but he, he was in our funny guys of of Broadway feature. Um, we love him. He's hilarious. Yes, yeah, she's seen this guy. He's so funny. You guys. He plays Shylock. He plays Shylock. And, and did you know that she calls Brian Darcy James B. Doodlebug J? Which I think we should just, that's what she calls him. B. Doodlebug J. Where'd that come from? What do you mean? On Twitter. What B. Doodlebug J. Do she calls him B. Doodlebug J. Mm -hmm. That's a cute nickname. I think you need to know that. Hello, he's he, the fun fettiest. He, he is the funfettiest, and that is a flavor of I bet it's going to be a pretty funfetti party. I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah. I highly recommend that people um, watch this tomorrow. Watch this live at five? No, yeah. watch Kate Reinder, because it's, I think it's going to be hilarious. And <laughs> she's going to so start fun. She's going to start as soon as she gets up, so whatever that is. Yeah, what whatever time that is. is. What time do you think of that? I don't know what time that is. <laughs> um, all right, all right, thanks, back Beth. back to listening to my voice. Bye. Yeah, yeah, back to listening to yourself. <laughs> Let's, oh look, there's red carpets on the floor. That happens sometimes, don't ask. Hi everybody. Hi. Uh, hi blondes. Hi. How you doing? Great. Hello, Hello Imogen. Hello. So somebody just asked me, actually, that yeah. uh, about Finding Neverland announced they're going on tour, right? They are, uh, fall 2016. It's very rare that a show announces it's going on tour that quickly. Right. Um, but uh, I loved it. I think everyone who sees it will love it. Yeah. Um, so. But it's also interesting because it's it's a uh, it's an interesting move to announce that right now. Well, yes. In awards season. Uh, and it got snubbed 
playing Neverland yesterday, big time by out by out of critics. Right. Um, so uh, it, it is a move uh, perhaps to the Tony nominating committee. Right. There is a big block of Tony voters, about 900 Tony voters, but there's a big block of voters who are known as on the road voters. Yeah, people um, are always catering um, to the road voters. And the road voters tend to like the more popular musicals. And then you've got, you know, the artsy, artsy sort of type uh, Tony voters who perhaps go for something more like Fun Home. Right. Um, so it was definitely a move, I would say, by Weinstein to go for that particular block of voters. Right. Yeah. So that's interesting. What that's else happened today? There's a lot of news today. So you were busy. News today. First of all, um, we're all busy and cranky. I we feel are like. very cranky. And also, I was doing the Living on Love press night last night. So it was a very late night last night with Renee Fleming and everyone else. Oh wait. And I had and to I, write I, Old Vic news in the middle uh, about Groundhog Day, going oh, to yeah, London before Broadway, and etc. Et well, wait, I'm doing the Doctor Zhivago opening tonight. You are yes. So uh, I need help with questions. Do you have any questions you think I should ask people? Um, like any well, burning questions? Burning, burning questions burning about, about <laughs> Chicago. Anything I'm burning? brain dead right now. I'm going to go see something rotten tonight because I'm doing that red carpet. Oh, you tomorrow. are? So I'm going to use, I'm going to save my brain power for that okay, I'll, and for I'll something rotten myself. tomorrow night. If anyone has any questions for Zvago, let me know. Yeah. I, have to, I have to prepare. And for something rotten, let me know for tomorrow night. Um, anyway, so Ewan McGregor though, so stage and screen star me, Ewan McGregor, who obviously was in Moulin Rouge, is going to be Lumia in uh, Beauty and the Beast, a live action film, uh, Disney film with Emma Watson. So I wonder so how good. much, like, do you think he's going to have flames shooting out of his hands like the Broadway Lumiere's or will he did you, I wonder if it'll just be his head on like CGI I don't know I mean it also I, curious, I, I'm, I'm curious how, I think we're all curious about how it's gonna look how they're gonna do it right how is Audra McDonald a wardrobe isn't she playing are they gonna be little I don't is know. he gonna be the size of a candlestick I mean, none of this none right. of this I just is occurred clear. you know it just occurred to me that big production number be our guest yeah. that's his that's I, objects in real life are different sizes yeah. That, awkward, that number might be really awkward when you. I don't if, know. if he's the size of a candlestick, it's going to be funny. Well, Bill Condon, who's the director, is, is, this is a big task. He'll for him. figure it out. So we'll be fascinated, but it won't be out for a while. So that's good. That's an interesting cast. So it is an interesting cast, and it's an amazing cast. Somebody said that live action cast is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. There are so many, I actually have given up listing them. Yeah. Devin Klein, Josh Gad. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So, uh, anything else? Well, it's just been, it, it has been relentless. So go to Broadway.com today and you can see what we've written. Also, Megan Hilty has, has just given some more scoop uh, about the Bombshell concert. Oh. So I led my odds and ends roundup uh, this afternoon with that. So check it out. Somebody, what do you think of this? Somebody said Emma Watson should come to Broadway in a straight play. I completely agree with you. And okay. I, think, I think we've done, we've done a poll on that, I'm sure. We've right. definitely, we've definitely tried to campaign for that. Right. And also, I mean, the others have done it now. Rupert Grint uh, and Daniel Radcliffe, who's done it three times now. Yeah, it's yeah. her turn. Her turn. Her turn. And then who? And then who? It's one of those other guys. I don't know their entire cast that well. What we do guys? Draco Malfoy. Tom. Who? Tom. Him. Him. That one. The blonde one. He's next. Yeah, him. Whatever. I think he said he wants to come. I think we've written that too. Right. But this is how we get in April. We have no idea who we are and what we are anymore. It's just yeah. All right, and here's um. I just want to like wave at like. Giving a little cry out flag. I'm gonna put the I'm putting the curtain down on the Imogen segment. Okay. Have fun with something rotten. Nice. They sing a song called "I Hate Shakespeare." I hope you can handle it. My my name from a Shakespeare play probably. <laughs> I don't know if you can handle it. Probably not. S silly Americans. Yeah. Hi, hey. what are you pulling? What's um, that? Okay, so you guys are inspiring me to dig into the Broadway.com archives. Uh, we wrote a feature about Emma Watson starring on Broadway. These are not straight That's plays. Right. These are musicals. But we had we some said? funny... This was after she danced in The Perks of Being a Wallflower. We thought, hey, she could do some dancing roles. So we had the girl okay, in the yellow ridiculous. dress in contact. That's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> we had Velma Kelly in Chicago. Okay. I love it. Uh, Victoria the White Cat. Imogen will like that yeah. one. Cats. And, uh, cats. That's going back to Broadway. Uh, Brenda and Moving Out. What? <laughs> Very crazy. What? And Lola and Damn Yankee. Wow. Yes. Okay. So we had some random, very Somebody random just said choices that for her. They wanted Laura Austin to play Belle. That would have been Ooh, good. Oh, that would have been good. That would have been good. But who didn't, was it Sutton Foster recently said she wished? Did yeah. she tell you? Yeah, she Sutton said Foster that if said she, she could go she could back in Belle. time and play an ingenue that she hadn't played, that she would want to play Belle. But if she's convincingly 26 on Younger, why can't she just play Belle? She should play right now. I don't think yeah. I'm complain. I'm into it. So what are you Sounds up to? Good. 
Um, I it, we are cranky today. We're we're very cranky. Um, <laughs> but it's been a, it's been. A I know. I wanted day. to run out of the room during the morning meeting. Yeah. I was cranky. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Put the Living on Love photos by Bruce Glickus up, which are nice. We have. Um, I'm impressed by uh, what? Trixie's uh, opening night outfit. I thought she looked Trixie the dog. dazzling. We're gonna, we're gonna discuss this dog. Trixie with looked Kayla good. In a second. Yes. Oh, I don't know if she can talk, but I'll get her to nod. Oh, right. Uh, Caitlin <laughs> has, like, laryngitis or something, yeah. so she can't talk. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what else? I'm, uh, oh, you know what Wait, also? why is this black and white on your phone? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I, I was, Wait, it's black and I white. I tried to restart it and it didn't work. That's so weird. Know. Is this black and white? Can everyone tell me? Is this black and white? Is that a black and white or is my phone Because that's super artsy if, it's... We're, if we're broadcasting in black it's and like... white. Live anyway, at five. It's black and white on Lindsay's phone, which I think is funny. And I love the delay, too. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I also wanted to show you, because you're doing the Dr. Zhivago opening, if you want, and if you want to get some question ideas of what to ask people. It's in color. It's only you, Lindsay. Oh, it's just me. Okay. Lindsay <laughs> has a really artsy phone. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought it like two weeks ago. Maybe I have to return it. Um, so if you want to read up on Dr. Oh, yeah. Zhivago, yeah. we put this up yesterday, and I think it turned out really well. It's written by Gemma Wilson, who is one of our writers. Yeah. Um, and it is just like these gorgeous old photos and it tells you I know nothing about Russian history at all I know. like nothing so this actually really helped me figure this out like feel smarter yeah because Dr. Tobago it's almost like the Les Mis of Russia it's like right. an epic story Who's that guy um, he this, wrote the book, yeah right? this is Boris Pasternak who wrote the book right um, so yeah, so it actually really um, was helpful for me at least, having literally no idea right. what was going on. We do these features to make people feel smarter. Yes. So right? if you need a Dr. Zhivago cheat sheet, Broadway.com. Right. Okay. There you Paul, go. Paul, I'm telling you that. There you go. Yes. All right. I'm gonna go ask. Uh, I'm, I'm worried about your phone. Yeah. Me too. I'll take one more I think I'm gonna have to white. call customer service. <laughs> It's kind of weird. Uh, somebody's asking about the um, James and Giant Peach album. Ah. That came out today. Past second. Oh, look, there's hoots with boxes. Merry Christmas. Um, <laughs> and uh, James and Giant Peach. And we're putting up an exclusive video very shortly. So be on the yeah. lookout for it. Steve. I haven't dug into the album yet, though. But, um, you know, what, what's the name of the Ben Platt? Ben Platt is starring in Pasek and Paul's musical, is, right? Yeah. Evan Hansen. Um, the new James and the Giant Peach album is actually all available online for free to download. It's free? To cut, it came out today, yeah. Why so, is it free? Because they put it all online. Because they're being nice and lovely. That's amazing. Yeah, so Thank you, Pasek and, and Paul. Christian Ball, everyone else, so it's all for Did free. Did Pasek and Paul use their um, uh, Christmas story money to pay for that so that we don't have to pay for it, maybe? Possibly, I don't know. I love them for that. Thanks, <laughs> it's guys. Really sweet, isn't it? But the video is good too. And um, but I, but Dear Evan Hansen is their new show. Yeah, yeah. This summer, and I, and I've already heard. There were some top secret readings last week, and I heard it's incredible. Yeah, that's so, what I heard too. So, I don't know. That might be... That's going to be good. Yeah. That's going to be good. All that's right. Good. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hey, Caitlin. Hey. Are you able to speak? <laughs> so I want to talk to you about one thing. Oh, my God. Okay, what? So, um, there's a show on Broadway called Living on Love that opened last night. Yes, the living And there's a dog. The there's a dog in it. Trixie. Trixie. Oh, my Trixie God. Trixie so was cute. the adorable dog that was in Bullets Over Broadway. Yes. And at that point, you shot a portrait did. of that beautiful dog. Oh, do you have it handy or anything? Um, can you pull it up? And while I, you do, if you can, I while can. you do, I just want to say something that okay. apparently, I didn't notice this, but apparently your photo is on the Living on Love set. I saw this in my very self on Saturday. I was you so You noticed excited. the photo. Where on I the did. set is it? It is on the back wall. It's like a part of a large mural of framed okay. photos. And the photo is like framed and it's black and white and it looks like it was shot just for the show. But it wasn't. And it, it was, was not. You. It was shot by me. And I saw, we took pictures of Living on Love. Uh, Bruce took photos of Living on Love last night yeah. at the opening. And I saw Derek McLean, who's the set designer. And I wanted to be like, hey, Derek. Yeah, I think Thanks that, for next using time you the photo. It. Glad you glad you like Broadway.com, Derek. <laughs> glad you like that photo. I took Thank a trip. You. you don't have the photo. Keep well, finding it. Fine, it's fine. just an adorable photo. I'm trying to do multiple That's things. So at once. I'm gonna go over to Ryan when you, you find it. Hi. Hi. So we're still doing awards. Awards oh, drama. Yes, we are in the swing right? of things. So today we had the. Shh. Hi guys. You keep down, just keep it down, live at five. How you doing? Uh, so, yeah, today we had the John Maligo Award nominations. Right. Um, and that's a bit of a unique 
uh, situation on how they do that because you have your normal, you know, you're playing. I think there's 583 roles. acting nominees or something. I think the actual count is 572, but <laughs> no, <laughs> actually there are 47 and they're all in one category. Right. So it doesn't matter if you're in a play, musical. So actor, it's literally actress. the number one performance of the year. Exactly. Do you remember who won last year? You know, Patrick Harris for Hedvig. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was looking back the last few years to see which one ended up winning the Tony. And in the past five years, it was him, Audra McDonald, and Rod Rylance who wow. won the Distinguished Performance Award, then won their Tony. So who's your gut reaction? Premature um, gut reaction. If there are a win. lot of really good contenders, um, but I'm hoping for Kelly O'Hara. We okay. also have Kristen Chenoweth. And then right. you also have some A-listers as well. You have Helen Mirren, Bradley Cooper, Jake Gyllenhaal. All recognized for their performance. I could picture well. Bradley Cooper winning. Yeah, I could see that too. There's foods with more boxes. Just a <laughs> secret project. It's really nice though. That's because... Terry with boxes. Hi, Terry. So many boxes. Um, yeah, so Terry. people are saying Kelly. Who else? Everybody. Yeah, but what would be the number one? We also have like, featured performers in there. Bradley well. Cooper. So Andy Carl's in there. Kristen. Um, yeah, Ruthie but it'd be Miles. Cheetah. Yeah, Cheetah for The Visit. Yeah, people are excited. Mm-hmm. People are excited. There's a lot of nominees. Yeah. Um, also, Finding Neverland was nominated. Unlike yesterday, oh, it was the nominated for oh. Distinguished Production of a Musical. Is that yes. what it's called? Mm-hmm. So it's Distinguished. Tim Mutu is nominated. Yes, he is. Did Tyne Daly get nominated? I believe so. I can double Let's check. Verify. I don't know why she We're going to verify. Right? She did get Out of Critics nominated. Yep. Yes. She did get one. Mm-hmm. Wow, you found that so quickly. Yeah, Control F. Uh, but the thing is, if they've won before, they can't win this award ever again in their lifetime. Oh, that's how it goes? Yeah. So they like, call out the people that have won before that were also on Broadway. Like Nathan Lane, he wasn't eligible for It's Only a Player, Ice Band Comic, because he won previously. That's weird. Yeah. You should be able to win more than once. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Well, they get a shout out every year. If they get a little shout out. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to share? Oh, look, um, you have Younger. Yeah, right Younger. Here. Season um, two. Working on one. tonight's recap. Oh, yeah. For the episode. I have. Oh, there's Miriam Schuller. As Shore. usual. Brian's obsessed with weekly check in. Miriam Church Jewelry. Jewelry. <laughs> and she does have. Look, he literally has a section called Diana's Statement Jewelry of the Week. Yes. So I hope you all enjoy yeah, that. Yeah, and I'm so that's, excited that's, for That's Heat Sock, people. Yeah, the original. The original. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm really excited for People love your amazing uh, Jeff's gifts. Oh, good. I'm glad. And they're saying statement jewelry exclamation point. <laughs> so I think people are like, it. yeah, yeah. Whoever Grace um, of Taylor, you do need to get into younger. You really do. And what's Lena Why Hall doing next? Any idea? I'm not Do I guess? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you uh, want to do? I think she's... Well, I think... No, actually, she just did that... I saw her show at I think she's doing it in San Francisco. Oh, okay, cool. I think, or just did or something. So she's doing, like, the cabaret she's, she's gig for a little concerts. bit? Okay. Yeah. Somebody else said it's on Hulu Plus. So you can watch Younger. Cool. That's good to know. All right. Uh, did you find your photo? I did. Oh, it's Trixie. I found three of them. Oh, my God. How cute. Look at Trixie. The sweetest. Speaking of statement jewelry. And then there's... This is the one that they used. That's on that's the, the that, that This photo can be seen on, on the You're site. on Broadway. I am. Wait, I made it. You're on Broadway. I made it. You are on Broadway. This photo <laughs> It was very distracting during the show. on Broadway. That's Trixie. Now, what was Trixie like to photograph? Oh, my Diva? gosh. Total no, Diva. she literally sat there. Wait, there's a really funny outtake that no one has ever seen. And I'm oh, gonna show it to a you. rare outtake. Because it's really funny. So like we shot this whole situation. She's being the perfect little animal. This is one of Bill Berloni's dogs, right? Yes. Yep. And that's the one we ended up using. And that oh. happened right after. Shut <laughs> up. Look how Trixie didn't even break the pose. She's like, no, I got it. Trixie I got it. Trixie was like, I love the hand. I know. Trixie did not break the pose even though it fell. Even though it fell. She's that's like, no, happened. no, I got it. That's I'm amazing. holding. I'm holding. And she <laughs> that's was so cute. total animal. I'm glad totally your voice ready. is coming back. I know. It is. It's good to hear it's coming from back. Aw, oh, thanks. All right. All right, everybody. Hoots, what are you doing? I'm packing boxes. Yeah, we got a bunch of gear. We got a lot of shoots coming up, dude. Gear. Gear is the manly way to say, like, lights and stuff. <laughs> it's just Cam- kind of like the way. I don't know if that's, like, the manly way. It sounds say. manly. Is this kind of the way you say it? Yeah, that's just how you say it. I mean, this is actually a really cool thing right here. This is a... Uh, Hoots, somebody wants to know, what do you think will win Best Musical this year? Oh, jeez. I don't know, man. Put you on the spot. We got to see what happens in the next week, I think. I haven't seen everything. That's not fair. You know what I mean? All I'm right. still seeing everything. Whatever. What's, it, what's in here? I want see what's in here. This what is, is a uh, LED location light. This is a light. See? It's covered in plastic right now to keep it it's safe. It's a big but, light. Yeah, see? it's a big light. And it gives us lots of different color temperatures. Right. And what's nice is they're not hot. 
They're LED lights, so they're not hot lights. Right. So when you're in a small space with the, like when you're interviewing celebrities, we won't get them all sweaty. Right. All right. I'm very excited. Oh. Sorry, I'm going to hear you make a call. Yep, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think you can share. Uh, uh, yeah, packing for Dr. Zervago tonight. Oh, you're going with me? Yeah. Oh, we're going to, Dr. We're going to Russia tonight. We're going to Russia tonight. Do you have any requests for questions I should ask people? Um, what kind of winter coats are they wearing in the summertime? <laughs> what kind of winter coat should you wear in the summer? That's a, that's a strong question. Strong question. That's when you go to Argentina. Strong, strong question. Strong <laughs> question. Yep. Uh, somebody just said, what happened to Kathy Henderson? I, I'm not going to see if you don't oh, actually okay. know I have Kathy. no idea. Uh, so Kathy, <laughs> Kathy, <laughs> Kathy <laughs> Henderson. Good question. Kathy Henderson used to work here, but she still works for us. She's a freelancer. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Kathy's a... You mean really didn't know that. Kathy's still right. That's right. I guess I didn't know that. Kathy used to work here full-time, but she doesn't yeah, anymore. But we love Kathy. Kathy's in our hearts, always. Kathy's always in our hearts. We're always talking like her, talking about her. She, uh, saying stuff like, oh, actually just, hun. That's how she talks. How's what she said? You're from the South. Hun. Kathy and I are both from the South. So, what, how does she talk? Hun. I could say a few expletives, but we probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Somebody wants to know what the office bathroom looks like. I don't think we're ready for that. That's a, yeah, we just a couple more episodes. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think we're ready for that. We're not talking about. Oh, stop, stop it! That's that's not that's not nice. Queen of Doodles. We love. All right, all right. Twentieth Century will be nominated for everything. Yes. All right. Megan and Robbie Fairchild are amazing. Yes. Anything else? We don't have high school interns. I'm sorry. How do you get a job here? You look for ads and then you apply. You apply. You apply. Do we have parties? We have parties all the time. Somebody says, I see Darren. Yes, I see Darren too. In fact, uh, let's just end this on a Darren Chris close up. I think Bye. this is this is it. I hope everyone um, enjoyed Live at Five. We'll see you soon. We'll see you tomorrow.